Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to another current household. So, I'm not sure if it's actually going to show up like this or not, but uh, there may be some black on the side of my screen. I apologize. I have to go ahead and change my options, but I'm going to film this video first, and then I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, we are still with the Norris household. I'm not sure. This is, like, video, like, number f five, maybe, something like that. So, this is the house that we are in. It is in Pleasant Isle, where we have been playing for a while. Uh, so if you come inside the front door, it's right here, you can see the stairs right away. But we do have a little rodent terrarium thing over here. If I sound a bit weird, I'm sorry, I'm not used to filming anymore, I haven't filmed in a few weeks. But uh, we have this rodent, it is a shrew, its name is Rascal. We got it from the future, I think it's called Oasis Landing, but yeah, I didn't name it, the game came up with it. But uh, anyways, and then we just have a really basic bathroom over here, nothing all too surprising. Um, then over here we have the living room, we have some trophies in here, a bookshelf, um, we have some pictures. I'm actually going to go into my buy mode for a real quick second because we did have a robot whose name was Rosie. You'll be seeing her in the end screenshot, like, picture thing. Obviously, she's not currently in our household. So I'm just going to delete that really quick. But okay, anyways. Back to this. We have some pictures over here with some of our descendants, as you guys can tell. This one looks a lot like Ethan. Like, they're doing the same pose and everything. Uh, this is another descendant over here. I don't remember any of the names, so I apologize. But, um, I think we do have some other descendant pictures, I'm not entirely sure. Um, over here, we have some diplomas and awards and a picture of Ethan and Allison. And then, if we keep on going over this way, we have the kitchen. The kitchen's nothing too much, like, too big or anything like that. I actually quite like the kitchen. It's very simple. So, there's everything. Then we have Matthew over here, who you guys probably haven't seen in a while, I don't think. Pretty sure he was a kid the last time. But alright, and then over here we have a bird. This is Alex. Um, he is a African grey parrot. I don't know, I wanted to get him a parrot instead of like a dog or a cat. And then if I come out here really quick, because there's a door right here that just leads onto this deck. And then you can like, oh, I'm zooming out far, way too far. And then you can, like, go downstairs, and we have the pool. There's nothing really in the backyard. I don't use it too much. And then if we head off over onto this side of the house, we have the computer and an easel, and then we have the music stuff and Matthew's, um, workout equipment. And then if we head on upstairs, we just have a hallway as soon as you walk up the stairs. Uh, this is just a bathroom over here. Nothing too extravagant or anything like that. It's just a bathroom. And then if we come over here, we have some pictures. So this one picture here, this is Ethan and Rosie. That is our robot. And then we have another descendant picture. I don't, I believe that one was a teen. I'm not entirely sure. And I thought we had another picture on this side, but I guess not. And then if we go into Ethan and Allison's room, we have a bunch of the, like, diplomas and awards and stuff like that. We have some pictures on the sides of the bed. And it's just so um, it's really nothing too special. And then over here we have Matthew and Liz's room. Um, before you guys ask, Matthew and Liz are only best friends. There's nothing going on between them. They just share the room. So, yeah. Um, Kenny and Isabella are actually elders. I do want to go and see them in this video. Um, and there's also a new face that you guys I haven't seen yet actually but yeah that's our family truly so far we, they have also have a daughter named Melissa she is the youngest uh, she's a computer with a diva genius and loves the cold you guys will be meeting her in this video I'm pretty sure I'm gonna try and go over there at least and then we have some pictures here of Ethan and Sid because why the heck not and then actually we'll start off with Liz for introducing the Sims you guys would have saw Liz in my last current household. This is Liz Terry. She is from university. 
She is a cancer. She like she ages up in twenty seven days. She likes geek rock cookies and the color purple. She's socially awkward, a genius, excitable, good, and a heavy sleeper. Uh, she is currently in the science career for level one. Level two cooking skill, level one fishing, level one bowling, level one gardening. Um level one science, level four logic. Uh her influences. Um, yeah, that's about all that there is, actually. She's a community high school graduate, and I guess she never actually got her degree. I'm not entirely sure. Inventory, she's a bunch of, like, seed and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's honestly, that's about it with Liz. And if we go down here to the guy eating a hot dog. This is Matthew. You guys haven't seen him since he was a kid. Oh, if you guys haven't seen the past current household in this family, I'm not doing this really late. They'll be up in the cards or linked down below in the description. Yeah, here is Matthew. He is a Libra. He likes country music, poisoning Rosetta, and the color Irish green. He is handy, good, eccentric, easily impressed, and athletic. He is a mess hall sailor because he doesn't want to be a, come an, become an astronaut. He is level 6 athletic, level 1 cooking, level 3 handiness, level 4 logic. Um, and... Level 1 in martial arts, which he got from going off to military school. And he's honestly, like, one of my favorites. I think he's super attractive for a sim. And, yeah. I do want to try and actually get him and Liz together. And if you guys haven't noticed, Ethan and Allison are not home. Because they are currently at the hospital. Because Allison's having a baby. Yeah. I got her pregnant. Um... Oh, I guess I've been playing for like a couple weeks after the past video. So yeah, I got her pregnant and they're now having a baby. They use the whiskey woohoo. So they should actually be home soon. And they actually just had a girl. So I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out a name for her and then I will be right back. Alright, so I am back and I came up with a name. I want to name her Destiny. Alright. Uh, do I want to select a choice of randomizer? Let's try randomizing. Lana and Heavy Sleeper. Eh. I'm going to want to see what other traits that I have. Because I did just recently like put all the other um, traits into my game. So I'm not entirely sure what I have and what I don't. And actually I'm just going to randomize. So Artistic and loves the Outdoors. Yeah, that's fine. I'm pretty sure it's a mix of both of her parents. So they just had the baby Destiny. I do actually need to go ahead and buy a crib now. So, I should probably do that, but... We're just gonna wait for them to get home. Actually, how about I queue up some action to the Matthew, and then we'll see if we can get them. Uh, you can watch some TV, because your energy's completely full. But, alright, if we come over here, can I get a picture of Allison and Destiny? You're not quitting your job, hun. i I'm sorry, but that's not happening. So there's Ethan, but I'm gonna guess that I can't get a picture of Allison because she's probably like trying to like spawn into like the taxi or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna assume that I can't. Alright, I'm gonna skip until like they get home, and then I will be right back. Alright, so we are back, and they are now home. I do need to go ahead and show you Allison, but she is actually in a very bad spot right now. And apparently, Melissa's got herself a boyfriend. So, that's cool. Um, but anyways, this is Miss Allison and Destiny. I do want to get a really quick screenshot of these two. So I'm going to do that real quick. It will be included in the end of this, obviously. But alright. Um. I have got to buy a crib. I didn't do that because I wasn't sure, like, the gender of the baby, so I figured I wouldn't put, buy one. I'm just going to put it in the room. I do plan on getting them to move, hopefully, before the next part of the, like, next current household update. I'm not entirely sure. We shall see, but mm, I've got some time for that. I've got, like, two weeks, so. All right. I'm going to let all of my stuff um, load. That's the word. I'm currently filming, it's like 12, 16 at night, so I am quite tired, but I gotta film, so. Uh, that's not the crib that I want, that's, alright. 
Well, let's go ahead and get the really quick basic cup. We'll just get a pink one. And we'll put it over here. I also bought them a, a, a bath. Just because that's easier. Move this back over here. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we go back into a live mode. But yeah, I'm going to have to like play around with my settings some more so that you guys aren't getting the side black screens. Because I did have that fixed and then... I don't know what happened, but I will get it figured out, I promise. Because I know that you guys can't, like, see the side of my screen and stuff like that, so I'll fix it. Um, you can come home and get some food, and then I'm going to get you to head to bed. Oh, it's spooky day. I guess we had a spooky day, baby. That's kind of cute. Um, so you were working 11 hours, which you don't actually, but okay. I'm going to get... I do have to introduce you to Ethan and Allison still if you guys haven't seen them. But right now it's just not a good time because we're going to put the baby away. Well, I guess not put it away, but like put it in her crib. Um. No, oh, she's hungry. Are you kidding? Alright, we need to go ahead and feed her really quick. Hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm like playing and introducing. Hopefully. And, um, I do actually need to change her last name. That's what I was going to do. Because it is under Allison's last name, and they are engaged. I don't think I mentioned that. But Allison and Ethan are engaged, which you will see at the end. I'm going to go ahead and erase her last name here, and change it to Norris. There we go. Okay, cool. Because she's soon going to be Allison Norris, so... Alright, but now that I can go ahead and introduce you to Miss Allison here. Oh, well, that's just a real attractive face there, hon. And this isn't actually her every day, but her every day, but so on it. It will mean the thumbnail. Because I took the thumbnail before filming. But, um, this is her pregnancy weather. But uh, she ages up in nine days. She likes Roots Music, Hamburger, and the color white. And her traits haven't changed any. I'm not going to go through and say them. She's a music talent scout, which I think is pretty good. Uh, she's level 1 charisma, level 4 cooking, level 2 bowling, level 3 fishing. I don't remember whenever I got her to go fishing, but okay. Uh, level 7 guitar, level 4 handiness, level 7 painting. And those are some hidden skills. Uh, level 1 social networking, and level 2 advanced technology. And... Uh, level 1 laser with Makan or something like that. That's just her homework skill. And then she also is level 1 in collecting. But yeah, she's going to go ahead and feed her baby. And then I'll go ahead and introduce you guys to Ethan. How long have I been filming for? 13 minutes. Okay. We're doing all right for time. Uh, you can put her back in the crib and then go and get some sleep. And then down here, sitting at the table, we have Mr. Ethan Norris, who is a kid of who I started this current household off with. So if you guys want to check that out, please do. Like, it'll make so much more sense and you'll get the actual family backstory. But alright, now he's headed off to bed, but I didn't want to introduce you to him. Just at a better angle than what he is at. Okay. Uh, this is Ethan. I th he looks a lot like his mom. Well, a lot like his mom. But he does have aspects of his dad as well. But anyways. If I could get a, a better angle of this. So, I mean, I guess you guys have seen him because I showed you have some pictures. And if you guys are like, new to this current household or whatever. But, um... As for Ethan, he ages up in 11 days. And... His traits haven't changed any either, I don't believe. Uh, he is level 4 in music. So he's a band manager. Uh, level 5 cooking. Level 9 guitar. He's super close to mastering that. Level 1 bowling. Level 5 handiness. Um, he does have a painting skill as well, but it's not very high. Uh, level 2 logic. Uh, see, level 3 painting. That's just his rebel influence. 
Um, level one social networking. Level five for bot building, and level five for advanced technology. Uh, level six for piano. Level three for bass. Level three drums. Yeah, that's about it for his. But uh, he's gonna head off to bed. And Matthew, I'm actually wanting you to go ahead and throw a party because it is spooky day. So I don't want you to throw a party, but right now I want you to finish getting your fun up. It's good enough, actually. I'm gonna cancel out the training someone because that'll probably actually never happen. But uh, we will go ahead and throw a party. Um. Oh, that's another thing. I, we have to go over to the Norris household. So I'm actually going to go ahead and skip until we are over there. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back at the original Norris home. Well, it's not the original one. But the one that they are currently living in. So over here we have Kenny. He's a cute little old man. Um, I zoomed in far too close. But hey, Kenny. How are you doing? I did give them up some makeovers. But yeah, this is Kenny. And then if we... Go around over here, we have Miss Isabella. I changed up her hair. The way that her and Matthew are looking at each other right now is really weird. But here is Isabella as a cute little old lady. And then if we come on over here, we have Caleb. I still think he looks like the spitting image of Matthew. But I guess we will see whenever he becomes a young adult. So here is Caleb. Um, over here we have Petunia. I believe she's a poodle, I'm not 100% sure. Um, Daisy and Harley both sadly passed away, and then they adopted Petunia. And then over here, we have a brand new face that you guys have never seen, and you're meeting her as a teenager. So I apologize about that. But, um, this over here, if I can get her, this is Miss Melissa, I told you her traits earlier. So yeah, here's Melissa. I think she's really cute. But, uh, yeah, that's honestly, that's about it. Um, this is just the house. It's w one of the ones that came in Pleasant Isle. But I'm actually going to go ahead and skip into some screenshots of what's been going on since the last update. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Blonde hair, blue eyes, that'll make you faint on sight. But she looks like trouble. Her lips so kissable and poisonous I know she won't be good for me
Blonde hair, blue eyes that'll make you faint On sight, but she looks like trouble Her lips so kissable and poisonous I know she won't be good for me